Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Sweat if you guys are new and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be showing you how to solo queue with Bloodhound in ranked with no teammates, no communication, and the reason that I am doing this in a silver four lobby, okay? I am on another account, obviously. But the reason I'm doing this in a silver four lobby is because we had a real problem in Diamond Two lobby solo queuing. I don't know. The teammates would just go down super early. They weren't uh, sticking together. Obviously, that's a problem with solo queuing. You have no communication other than your pings. But teammates would just die out super early and stuff like that. So I want this to be more of a relaxed type of video. And you guys can still learn a lot from how to use Bloodhound's abilities in this video. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Drop a thumbs up if you do like this series, okay? And I will continue on to... I'm probably going to flop around between characters in this series. I'm not going to stick to, like, going in order or stuff like that. But drop a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. I would be glad to bring them to you. And without further ado, let's get into uh, the gameplay review of solo queuing as Bloodhound. All right, so just an FYI, very, very quickly, we are jumping into the game about three minutes in because my teammates landed me at Geyser, nowhere near anybody, so we were just looting the whole time, and I came out of here with a Volt and a Prowler, so not a bad combo to start off the game. I did see that ping, obviously, for the extended energy mag, but I wasn't going to go all the way back there because I knew there was a team around us, and you're going to see very shortly where exactly they are. Someone traveled through here recently. All Father, give me sight. all right guys so quick recap of that first gunfight here okay you can see right as i walk in the room here first off to start it all all right i see the tracks right there and i set a ping for my teammates so they know where i am they know there's enemies in the area and right here i can hear enemy footsteps scan right away absolutely perfect and right here in this scenario okay i see one guy is over here i see another guy is over here and another guy is over here so there's two on this side one on this side what i want to do here because no one is on high ground i want to go up to high ground very very quickly and you can see that none of them can get up there by the time i'm already there so this is absolutely perfect and I can kind of hear these guys on the right side. They're going farther away from me. They're not coming towards me. So I have a soloed out guy over here. So what I want to do is get some shots off on him to make sure that he doesn't push me. But I know right when I take some shots, the other people are going to come back. So I shoot that guy for like 51, right? And then these guys are, of course, coming back. I get some really good shots on these guys. They're very low, both of these guys. So they're going to run towards that way. And then this guy is still soloed out back here. So now I have a pure one-on-one -on -one over here. Should be an easy gunfight. I get his shields knock, and then I absolutely push him. Oh, 
this guy crypto emps he's right over here but i did not see him so that's where i messed up i actually made a mistake here and i was pushing towards this way because i thought he was still in this corner because that's where i last saw him ran you know what i mean when i was up top but there's a lot of time like between when i fought that guy behind me and over here so he's all the way over here now i did not realize that would have been an easy kill earlier on but i just did not see him Thankfully, my teammates are shooting at him right here. Marking our surroundings. Reloading. Just pop over here and get the kill. That entire squad has fallen. I confess, that kill was pleasant. Care package touching down. They usually carry red platforms. Recharging my shields. Might be something good this way. Now, another thing quickly with Bloodhound is I love just using his scans or their scans. Sorry. I love using Bloodhound scans, okay, whenever it becomes available because it's absolutely a huge resource. You can tell if someone's in front of you and in your vicinity. That's a great asset to use. So I would recommend using it whenever you get it unless you see enemies in front of you and you know you want to save it. Then uh, that's the time to save it, but... I like using it as much as possible. We can see right here, there's a whole team coming down from the sky. One guy is going to land on the roof. The The reason that I'm still pushing forward here, if they get high ground, I'm absolutely screwed, right? So what I'm going to do is take height on this building. There's going to be one guy up here with me. You're going to see exactly what happens here. The other two land over there in the middle, and this guy lands up top with me. All right, so let's quickly break down that scenario. Sorry about my phone going off. My freaking ESPN alerts are going off over here. But anyways, all right, so first off, like I said earlier on, I'm getting height on the roof because I see two go to the right, one go to the left. I can get an easy 1v1 on this guy. It's exactly what we do here. Take him out nice and easy. And what I do right here, pop the beast of the hunt because this is going to give me a scan every six seconds. It's going to tell me exactly where these other two players are on the map. That's exactly what we want, so... Get this guy singled out again. You can see the other guy is very, very deep back here. Not even a threat whatsoever unless he has a long-range sniper. And he's not even positioned to a to a point where he can even take a shot at me because I got a nice little head glitch right here. Get behind the head glitch. I barely have any health gone. We'll scan on this guy. So I got this guy like 50 HP. You take a look down at my health. I only have one bar of uh, shield gone. So I'm absolutely pushing this guy. Scan him just to make sure. And I see that he's healing, so I can push up easily. Get the one-shot kill.
marking our surroundings. Contact with hostile. RDM on mark, firing for effect. Right, guys let's break down that fight okay we go all the way back to right when i saw these guys right i scan right here i get nobody i'm running up to this fight this is gonna be a little quick analysis it's not gonna be too long so they see me right the bloodhound's gonna scan right here and if i'm not mistaken i think he only hits me with the scan i am a little bit far from my teammates not really but Maybe not in range for him to get all three of us in the scan. And that's why the Bloodhound ended up pushing me. Um, right after I get this battery off, the Bloodhound pushes down the scares, stairs. Absolutely scared the crap out of me. I didn't hit him on my scan. And he put up a good fight, I'm not going to lie. So after that, we're going to skip a little ahead. Back to where we push the other team, or the, uh, the rest of the teammates. All right. If I could find it, it'd be great. Right here, okay? I think this is their team. I'm not totally sure, so I hit a scan. We see that there's only two of them up there. So the play is definitely to push right here. And if you guys did not know, this is like the easiest way to climb up. And you can get right behind here. Nobody really expects it. Never, There's never anybody checking this unless they're already standing up here. And I knew they were not up there. So that's an easy high ground retake from these guys. And we end up wiping the squad. You already saw how it went down. But oh, we'll see it one more time. And there you go. Nice and easy. Outside the ring would be <laughs> pointless. Scanning. 
Clearing the area. Care package being delivered. Care package touching down. They usually carry rare platforms. Calling upon nature's strength. Alright guys, so what I should have done right here is when I am in Beast of the Hunt, right? We scan this guy over here. I only see one on my screen, but then he scans me back, right? I do have a scan right here. I did not know this Bangalore was up here. So what I should have done is hit the scan going this direction would have easily prevented this guy probably from going down because I doubt he knew there was two enemies there. And I think this cost us a little bit here. We made up for it. We killed everybody, but still... shots were a little weak okay the shots were not even close to all the way there it was early in the morning relax okay you're gonna flame me in the comments this guy's aim is trash Looks good. we all know my aim isn't the best okay now we got the job done though barrel safe optics here close range highlights your enemies with only two enemy Thank squads you. left, the probability of victory rises. Let's explore this way. Scanning the area. Target over there. Tango spotted. So I can see right there, guys, that they have Watson fences set up. They know what they're doing. Okay, they're locking down the little bit of height advantage that they have over there. My teammates are both running that way, and I'm going to strongly suggest that they don't go that way. I'm going to start pinging like an absolute madman over here in a second. Let's explore this way. Contact with target. Taking fire. See, in my opinion, that's a bad fight over there. That's not the right angle to take on that fight. So that's why I'm going around this way. And they're not going to be expecting me to go this way. Right here, I hear this door open. I know he's coming out. Good shots with the vault. Scan on the other two. And once I get the scan on the other two, I decide to go around the other way just in case someone's holding that doorway. And, and, and like the other guys trying to go for the res or something like that. The they did have a lifeline on their team, so. There's a lifeline. The other two really weak. And it leads to a nice little squad wipe. Let's go. One more team left.
And I am just going to skip ahead to where we find this last team because we were running around for a while. I was in Beast of the Hunt over here. Um, it's right back where we came from, yeah. Right over here. On the last possible scan, I catch him on the scan, so. Good use, good use. I should have been scanning right here. Definitely should have been a, a scan going off or even two if I got it back in this amount of time. Trying to take a little head glitch over here. So at this point, I have no idea where this other guy went. I scan over this way. I don't see him. I think he was on the left. But I'm not too sure. Thank God my teammate wiped him with the Devo. I'm going to skip ahead because we run around for another 10 minutes before we find this guy. And he turns out, turns out to be in the left corner, like I was saying. And we get the easy kill. And that, my friends, is how to play Bloodhound while solo queuing. And yeah, I hope you guys can learn something from the abilities. Make sure to always be scanning whenever you get that thing. Make sure to always be scanning in the ultimate too and pinging tracks for your teammates. There's just so many things that you can do with Bloodhound. Absolutely amazing character. And yeah, guys, it's been Sweat. I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.